Hey, hello everybody, Disciple here. Now, two weeks ago, I made a video about a 1,000 Apex pack opening that took me almost three hours. And during that video, I said that if we got 10,000 likes, I would make another video where I max out the rest of my account. Now, some of you guys in the comments didn't believe since we're still a growing channel, and I'll admit I was skeptical myself, but we completely smashed it. The video has over 19,000 likes at this point, and like I promised you guys, I'm going to max out my account. So, at the end of my 1000 Apex pack opening, I was still missing 26 weapon skins, 14 legend skins, 18 banner frames, and one finisher, which was Mirage's only finisher. And it would cost about 70,000 crafting materials to finish everything, but after the box opening, I only had 51,000 crafting materials left. So I thought, perfect, I can craft all of the weapon skins, legend skins, and the one finisher, and I'm going to leave the 18 banner frames because, honestly, I already have the banner frames I want, and any more than that is kind of pointless, especially since there are 40 legendary banner frames in the game, 5 for every single legend, and that's just so much, it's not worth it at all. So I went ahead and I unlocked every single weapon skin, every single legend skin, and the one finisher I had left, and at that point, I could put on any skin I wanted for any game. I also had every single tracker and a whole lot of badges so I could deck out my profile and I looked like one of those sweaty tryhards whenever I'd load into a game with uh, Wraith's knives flying towards the screen. But you know what? It felt good. I got to play around with what skins I actually liked in-game, and a lot of my friends had skins that they really wanted to use but couldn't buy because of crafting materials, so I would equip them and then pick up weapons for them in-game and drop them so they could use the skins. And you know, it was pretty fun overall to be able to put on any skin I wanted, have any loadout I wanted, and you know, it really all came at the cheap cost of $1,000 for a free-to-play game. Huh. But you know what? We weren't done yet. You know, I promised you guys a fully maxed account, alright? And there were a couple things that got in my way. See, a few things happened after my 1000 pack opening that kind of threw a wrench into my plans. First off, a Valentine's Day longbow skin came into the store, so of course I had to cop that. But then, the worst thing imaginable happened. A new gun came out, which meant of course that now I didn't own every single common, rare, and epic in the game, as well as every single legendary weapon skin. So I went ahead and spent what credits I had remaining on some more packs so that I could open as many of the Havoc skins as I possibly could, and then I crafted all the rest of them. So at that point, I then owned everything in the game. At least, every skin in the game, and I felt okay about that until the store updated again and some new skins came out that were the alternate skins for existing legendaries. And if you guys haven't seen them, the skin's only available for legend tokens and you have to own the legendary skin as well to unlock it. Fortunately for me, I own every legendary skin so I could unlock them, but the legend tokens themselves were a problem. See, I had spent all of them previously on getting all of the other unlockable skins from the stores before. So I was going to have to play a lot of games to make sure I got the new Wraith and the new Blood Bloodhound skins. So I hopped in with my buds on stream and I grinded out some games. I got that experience, won a lot of them along the way. My best streak during the entire time was seven wins in a row that I had with Darkness429, and it was overall a really fun time. I earned the legend tokens, I got all of the skins remaining, and I earned up enough legend tokens to buy up whatever skins come out next. And at that point, I again owned every skin in the entire game. So it was feeling pretty good. But again, why stop there? Because of all the experience I had gained from leveling up and getting legend tokens, I was pretty close to max level, and I thought, if I'm gonna have a max account, it would make a lot of sense for it to be max level, yeah? So, I kept playing, I kept streaming, and I kept winning, and I eventually got up not just to level 100, but to level 101 plus, or whatever the max level is in this game. Beyond that, you continue leveling up and receiving legend tokens, but you don't get packs anymore, and it doesn't display your actual level. So at that point, I was just about ready to call it good. I mean, I had every single skin in the game, I had basically as unlocked his account as you could get, and all I was missing were some kind of crappy banner frames that I didn't really care that much about. But you know what? You guys deserve the best from me, alright? We hit so many likes on that last video that I went ahead and I bought another hundred packs. <laughs> 
I opened some of them on stream, and surprise, surprise, I was just getting a lot of crafting materials. But every time I opened a legendary, it was really exciting just because that was another legendary I wouldn't have to craft. Crafting them costs so many crafting materials, and opening them in packs is just so much better and so much more efficient. So I went through all the remainder of the packs I had on the account. I finally had enough crafting materials, and I unlocked every remaining banner frame. So at this point, I went through my account again to see what exactly a maxed account looked like. I had every single skin for every single legend and every single gun of every single rarity. I had every voice line, I had every banner pose and banner frame, I had every tracker unlocked so I could see just how terrible I am at caustic and just how much I really, really, really try hard on Wraith. And in the end, it all looked good. But I know YouTube is full of skeptics, and there's still one thing I'm missing. Now, I'm happy with this, and I feel like I have as max an account as I possibly can at this point, but there is one thing that I'm still missing, and that is plenty of badges. This game has tons of achievement badges for every single legend. Some of them are shared between all of your legends, but a lot of them are specific to each one. And there's a lot of legends I just haven't played that much, so I haven't unlocked enough wins on them, or enough damage on them, or enough of their specific goals. Some challenges are deceptively hard, like getting a kill at over 300 meters, because if someone's over 300 meters away and they have teammates, their teammates are probably going to resurrect them before you're able to get in there and finish the job, and just knocking someone isn't going to count towards the progress. So I have a fully maxed Apex Legends account without all of the badges, and that's going to be the next step, folks, all right? I don't know when exactly I can get that video out, and I would love to say, hey, if you guys drop, you know, 15,000 likes on this video, then next week I'll come out with every single badge unlocked on Apex Legends, but Honestly, it's probably going to take me a lot longer than that, but what I can say is that if you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel, that is going to be the next goal that I work towards every single time I stream over on Facebook.com on my page Disciple Gaming Curious. I go live with Apex Legends pretty much every single day, and I've been loving this game so much, and I'm going to start really trying towards those achievements and accomplishments, playing a lot more characters than Jess Wraith, who I've been maining ever since I got the knife from my 666th remaining... Apex pack when I did my 1000 pack opening. Now of course using Wraith is cool and I honestly really love the idea of having an oops button so I can press my Q when things get dicey and I noticed that I play really aggressively so when I'm playing on Lifeline or something sometimes I just die because I have no means to get back. But I'm going to play as Lifeline, I'm going to play as Bangalore and Bloodhound and Pathfinder and hardest of all I'm going to play as Gibraltar. <laughs> oh no. But you know what? I'm going to play as everyone to try and unlock every single badge so that in the future, you guys are going to see a fully unlocked every single badge, every single skin, every single everything account on Apex Legends so that you guys can feel really bad about how much time I have to do completely pointless things and how much money I'm willing to spend on them. Anyway, I hope you guys subscribe to the channel for a ton more Apex content in the future. And until then, I'm Disciple. Peace.